Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Christian and I'm finally back. I know it's been a while. I know you guys haven't seen me a while. I haven't been consistent at all all but that's all gonna change but this video is gonna be a different type of video i never really like sat down with you guys one-on-one -on -one and talked about my life and like how's it been and you never like you never really got to know me face to face one-on-one -on -one. i never really told you guys anything i only told you guys what i wanted you guys to hear and that was basically my opinion of the music me and my mom so this is gonna be a different type of video i'm gonna be explaining to you guys what's been happening this whole year and like kind of my mindset throughout things and why i really haven't been posting that much or being consistent because i'm trying to change that i didn't i don't want to like not post it just happens you know but so basically at the start of the year um i was trying to get out in the social media world i was trying to get out more in hollywood because i technically live in la county like i live like 30 40 minutes away from la but it's still la county so i was applying on job finding apps um like indeed and all that stuff to be social like to be a videographer because i make music videos and i'm pretty good at editing and all that so i was like okay i could do this and i started applying to jobs to be like a tiktok filmer for someone or just just all that stuff just to get my name out there more and just to make a little money on the side because I'm not like working right now I didn't make that much money from YouTube because all my videos get copyrighted from uh, from record labels so I was trying to find a way to make money the music videos I was doing on the side and I actually found one like they hit me up I, I didn't know what to expect because they didn't really tell me much I didn't get an interview or nothing they kind of just hired me on the spot like that and it was in Beverly Hills. Right when I pulled up, they were in the process of moving. And when I got there, I I was like to be a, it was to be like a TikToker to to make literally to for me to make TikToks like this um, for some guy's company to promote them and stuff. So I was just like blah blah, blah making TikToks. And they ended up moving into the old hype house, the old uh, hype house, which is the old Phase house, the old Clout house. It's in Hollywood Hills. Everybody knows that house. I helped these people move into their new house because I was like I'm. I'm trying to get on their good side you know so i'll help them move i met with some really cool people that i'm still friends with today and i did i wasn't getting what i wanted to get i wasn't getting paid i was just doing all this stuff for free they started doing good like i made this guy millions and millions and millions of views on all these tiktok videos and all these accounts my only problem with him was like i just he just wasn't paying me like i, I talked to him and i was like yo like can we figure out this payment situation like how am i gonna get paid and he was like all right let's see See, like what you do within the next week under like the influence as you're getting paid to see like how your work ethic is and i'm like all right let's do it so a week goes by one video hit like a million views on its own and then i'm like all right and i was trying to figure out when i was getting paid because i'm doing all this work driving 40 i'm driving like over an hour to this house making all these videos spending my time there and just i'm just not getting paid for nothing and i'm making him millions of views and i don't even know how much money that acc accumulated to and he ended up giving me like 200 dollars he bought me food and that was basically it like that's that was all the money i saw for the for the past like two three months of work i only saw 200 dollars. but i was still there because like all the people around me were all cool as hell so when all that was going on i was contemplating like what to do and it was taking my all my time away like even from youtube i wasn't posting because all i was doing was going over there to the hype house and i was just like making these tiktoks every single day and i it just it took away from my youtube and it got to the point where i just wasn't posting at all i just didn't do any reaction videos i didn't do any vlogs like i could have done over there i was just doing this because i was trying to make money because everybody needs money to survive made me end up getting into like this little depressed state where I didn't know what to do with my life like I felt unmotivated I felt like I was getting used I felt I don't know I just I just felt like I just felt like shit because I I feel like that was my one chance to get into the like the Hollywood world the entertainment world and they were just using me so I got like super depressed blah 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 I just didn't have any motivation to make any YouTube videos at all and it it kind of sucked because when I get depressed, I get in, I go into like this dark, uh, this real, this real dark like hole. And I will, I will, I would just stay home. I was just sitting on my couch, just smoking weed and just eating. Like, it sucked. Like I knew, I knew what was going on, and I, but I didn't have, I didn't. It's like I wanted to change but i didn't want to take the steps to change so it was kind of hard like in my like i know when i get depressed but it's like 
it's hard to change. It's hard to change your mindset and it's hard to get into back. It's hard to get back into the groove of feeling motivated, feeling like you want to do things again. But I was still going to that house because I is it like it sounded promising, you know? All all this guys employees, I'm still cool to the day. I'm so glad I met them. They're like they're probably going to be my friends for a while. We were all talking about it and they don't he he didn't really pay any of them. It was weird. He offered he was offering me to like pay for my bills and everything, but he didn't want to pay me directly so they kept wanting to make all these videos they kept pressing me to make these videos but I just felt unmotivated because I wasn't getting paid for my work and I was, I was wasting all my gas money I, I wasted more money going over there helping them get views and stuff rather than them paying me and he offered to pay for all my bills and all that but he didn't want to pay me directly so we ended up talking about this because I was just fed up I was like alright I don't want to do this no more if you're not gonna pay me and then he offered to pay me five dollars a video and I that was just like laughing at my face that was just like a direct he it basically spit in my face at that point and I was like alright so I, I didn't end up going back there I ended up quitting and I just got more depressed like I was like, all right, that was my one chance, and I just got used this whole year. I wasted all this time not making uh, YouTube videos, and it's hard because once you get, once you stop making videos and you stop being consistent, it's so hard to get back into that groove, and it's so hard to just stay motivated because you're scared to go back. You're just scared that you're just not gonna get views no more. You're scared people aren't gonna watch you no more. It, it's it's just hard. And plus on top of that, I was really like depressed and I don't know, like YouTube is YouTube is what I wanna do for a living for sure. Like just in the entertainment world. I was like, I built up this fan base of 40 something thousand subscribers. I love every single one of you guys. It just felt like I, I just gave up on everything. And I didn't want to, like I wanted to go back, but I wasn't, like I wasn't taking the steps to go back to YouTube. And I was just, honestly, I was just sad. Like I was sad 24 seven and it sucked cause I want, I know what I wanted to do, but it was just hard to get motivated. You, like I know all you guys subscribe to me because I made the reaction videos with my mom. Not to sound jealous of my mom or anything, but obviously like I want the career out of YouTube. But I feel like my mom was the star of the thing, so I don't know how long I could write that out for it because I know eventually I'm gonna end up moving out, so I don't know how long I could keep making videos with my mom for. So I was trying to find a way to transition into doing the content I wanna make, and I just never ended up doing it. So now this is this is basically me transitioning into the content I want to make. This is like my comeback video, I guess. Like I said before, I was smoking a lot. I was just sitting on my couch smoking and eating. And then I started going out more and then I just started drinking and drinking and drinking and just like it just wasn't good for myself. Like I wasn't it wasn't good for me at all. So recently I started going to the gym. Uh, actually a couple of days ago I decided that I was gonna cut out alcohol for the rest of the year and if I like how it goes then maybe forever you know I wouldn't say I'm as depressed that I, as I was like a few months ago because a few months ago it was really really bad I was just in a hole bro like it's hard it's hard to explain to someone that doesn't really know like what's going on inside your head I was in a I was like in a deep dark hole right I could see the ladder to get out of the hole I just didn't want to go to the ladder to get out the, to climb out. I was just sitting there and just didn't want to move basically. And it sucked because my whole, my mom, my whole family kind of suffers with mental, mental illness, like depression and all that. So it's a, uh, I don't know, it just gets bad, you know? Everybody else that out there that's suffering with depression, anxiety, all that stuff, just know you're not alone and just know you're gonna get through it. Like at the end of the day, there's always gonna be better days ahead. You're gonna have those bad days that you feel like everything is going against you. And you just can't take it personal because at the end of the day, life happens. You can't control, you can't control like, what happens in your life. I'm not trying to make you guys feel bad for me or anything. It's just, this is me, bro. Like, you guys are getting to know me more. I don't know, bro. It's just, depression just sucks, you know? Like, and I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm a really emotional person, so when I get sad, I get, like, super sad. Like, it kind of just breaks... I don't know, it just feels like everything is going to shit, and ev I just feel like I have a constant, like, cloud of rain over me 24-7, and um, no one really knows it besides a few people just because I just hide my emotions a lot. I just keep everything built up inside, and this is me 
venting to you guys basically so shout out to my friends for keep pushing me to make youtube videos they they're like the ones that really support me and they want to see me make it my friends uh they they push me a lot to make these music videos or not me they my friends push me a lot to make youtube videos because they uh they said they they know i can make it in this youtube stuff in this entertainment business and if it wasn't for them honestly i don't know what i would do they they like try to motivate me they give me the motivation i need my bad, I, I get emotional, bro. But shout out to everyone that stuck with me this far. Uh, we're going to continue to run it up. I'm going to be at the top soon, watch. Expect it. But this has been Christian. My mom's in the other room. She's still here. Um, comment down below what you guys want to see next. Thank you guys for listening. If you guys ever need like someone to talk to, just DM me on Instagram, Christian underscore Lamberton. Um, comment down below what you guys are going through. And maybe we can all talk. I'm out. Peace.